This is the story of Peter Rabbit. Mother Mouse came running by 
are carrying peace and being home to her family. In the woods, Peter asked her the way to the gate, but she could not enter with such a big bean in her mouth. He just nodded her head. Peter began to cry. Just then he saw a big old white cat. She was wishing herself. Peter had heard about cats, so he did not dare to stop to talk with her to ask which way to go. He went the other way. Suddenly he heard, heard a noise, the noise of a head. Scratch, 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 scratch. When Peter looked up, he saw Mr. McGregor pulling his onions. His back was turned. Peter turned to Peter, and beyond him was the gate. Peter made up his mind to run as fast as he could. And he squeezed under the gate. And never stopped running until he got home under the root of a big fir tree. He was so tired he lay down and closed his eyes. When then he remembered how sick he was. Mother Rabbit was busy cooking dinner, but she wondered where Peter had lost his shoes and light blue jackets. That was the second jacket and the second pair of shoes he had lost in a week. What a naughty boy. Peter Rabbit, you did it to mischief, mischief, mischief. Peter Rabbit, what a naughty boy. You have washed your shoes and my blue jacket, jacket, jacket. Peter Rabbit, what a naughty boy. Peter had eaten too many green vegetables and he felt terrible. He was so sick that his mother made some caramel tea, gave him a big dose and put him to bed. Bad little Peter Rabbit. But Foxy, Moxie, and Pencil, who were good little rabbits, had blackberries, sugar, and cream. Peter went to bed and without any supper, but Foxy, Moxy, come out to jail. Blackberries, sugar, and cream. Yum, yum. And that is the tale of Peter.